Welcome back to Nexa Tech, where we explore the cutting edge of technology and AI advancements. Today, we have some groundbreaking news that's set to redefine the boundaries of artificial intelligence. OpenAI has finally unveiled their new large language model, OpenAI 01, which is arguably the most intelligent model in the world. This highly anticipated release boasts capabilities so extraordinary that we believe you'll want to watch this entire video until the end. Some of its features are truly remarkable. Let's delve into everything that's transpired and explain all the key details you'll want to know. Right here it states, Learning to reason with LLMs. We are introducing OpenAI 01, a new large language model trained with reinforcement learning to perform complex reasoning. OpenAI 01 differs significantly from standard models like ChatGPT because it thinks before it answers. This means it can produce a lengthy internal chain of thought before responding to the user. Essentially, the model lays out a plan, walks through that plan, and then gives a final output. One of the most astonishing aspects of this model is that it currently exceeds human-level PhDs on a variety of benchmarks. Specifically, OpenAI 01 ranks in the 89th percentile on competitive programming questions from code forces, which is absolutely remarkable. This places it at expert level, a feat previously achieved only by a prior system from Google that required enormous computational resources. This also positions the model among the top 500 students in the United States in the qualifier for the USA Math Olympiad and exceeds human PhD level accuracy on benchmarks in physics, biology, and chemistry problems. While work is still ongoing to make this model as user friendly as current ones, they are releasing an early version, the 01 preview, for immediate use today in ChatGPT and via the API. So, if you're curious whether this model is available today, the answer is yes. If you're in the EU and wondering if it's out yet, it might be delayed by a few hours, approximately 6 to 8 hours. So, please be patient, and eventually, you'll see the model appear in your menu. One of the most remarkable aspects of this model is that it was trained using large-scale reinforcement learning. This approach allows the model to think productively using its chain of thought in a highly data-efficient training process. They note that the performance of 01 consistently improves with more reinforcement learning training time compute and with more time spent thinking, test time compute. The constraints on scaling this approach differ substantially from those of LLM pre-training, and we are continuing to investigate them. For those who might not fully grasp what we've just explained, they're essentially saying that this approach scales exceptionally well. They're currently figuring out how to continue scaling because the model keeps improving with more training compute and more time allocated for thinking during test time compute. Basically, they don't see any limits, apart from computational resources, on how intelligent these models can become. Looking at the graph, we can see even more startling implications. It reveals a new kind of scaling law. As we've mentioned, the constraints on scaling this approach differ significantly from those of LLM pre-training, and further investigation is ongoing. The remarkable thing is that the graph clearly shows that as training compute increases, the model's accuracy during training also rises. Additionally, on the logarithmic scale, the test time compute shows that the accuracy of 01 continues to improve. It doesn't take a genius to realize that, with more compute and resources, these models could achieve even more impressive capabilities. The reason we find this so fascinating is that it may indicate we've entered a new paradigm in how AI models are trained and deployed to users. Training compute and test time compute are both scaling remarkably, and accuracy improves with increased compute. For those who have doubted that compute is all you need, this demonstrates that, in this new paradigm, computational power might be the most crucial factor in extracting additional performance from certain models. Combined with chain-of-thought reasoning and reinforcement learning, we have an unstoppable system. It's almost unfathomable how intelligent these models will become in the future, especially considering we're currently limited by our computational resources. Now, when we examine what this model can achieve, we can review some evaluations that highlight its reasoning improvements over GPT-4. They tested the models on a diverse set of human exams and machine learning benchmarks, showing that 01 significantly outperforms GPT-4 on the vast majority of these reasoning tasks. 
unless otherwise specified, 01 was evaluated using the maximal test time compute setting. What we have here are three different models, 01 preview, which is essentially a distilled version of 01, and then the full 01 model, which won't be available today. The 01 preview is the version that will be accessible now, sometimes referred to as Strawberry or QR, depending on naming conventions. Essentially, we're in a situation where the 01 preview is the model available today, but the full 01 model, considering computational limitations, may become available sometime next year or in the future. Now, the most crucial point is the remarkable differences between GPT-4 and the 01 preview. There's hardly any similarity when we look at these benchmarks. It's almost like comparing apples to oranges. The 01 preview simply dwarfs GPT-4 in terms of raw performance on challenging tasks. For instance, in competition math, there's nearly a fourfold increase. On code forces, it's almost a six-fold increase. And on PhD-level science questions like the GPQA diamond, there's a remarkable jump that even surpasses expert human levels. A whole new paradigm in how we perceive ourselves on the intelligence scale. And these aren't the only benchmarks. Trust us when we say that these results even surprised us, and we're always expecting remarkable performance from these models. Let's delve into some other fascinating developments. This is where we actually take a look at the GPT-4 versus the 01 improvements. We can see that there are four different areas here. Machine learning benchmarks, where there's quite an improvement in the MMLU and the Math 500 and Math Vista. Notably, the Math 500 is at 94.8%, which is a remarkable jump. The main thing to understand about this model's release is that it primarily performs much better in math and other tasks requiring long reasoning steps. We also see the same in chemistry, physics, and biology, and across many AP exams. What's incredible here is that 01 rivals the performance of human experts. Recent frontier models do so well on math that GSM 8K and math benchmarks are no longer effective in differentiating models. Basically, they're stating that these models have somewhat completed these benchmarks and are no longer useful in determining how models perform. So, they decided to evaluate the math performance on the AMC-12, an exam designed to challenge the brightest high school math students in America. On the 2024 AMC-12 exams, GPT-4 only solved 12%. That's 1.8 out of 15 problems. In comparison, 01 averaged 74%, that's 11.15 out of 15, with a single sample per problem and 12.5 or 83% with consensus among 64 samples, and then 93% when re-ranking a thousand samples with a learned scoring function. Basically, what they're stating here is absolutely incredible. Most people won't understand why this is so astonishing, but getting 74% with a single sample is truly remarkable because you input a single prompt and the model outputs a single response. Of course, using a thousand different samples, you're going to significantly improve your score, but doing this single shot and getting such dramatic results is absolutely incredible. We can also see this right here, where they show how it compares to PHDS. They also evaluated 01 on GPQE Diamond, a difficult intelligence benchmark that tests for expertise in chemistry, physics, and biology. In order to compare models to humans, they recruited experts with PhDs to answer GPQA Diamond questions and found that 01 surpassed the performance of those human experts, becoming the first model to do so on this benchmark. Interestingly enough, they do state that these results do not imply that 01 is more capable than a PhD in all aspects, only that the model is more proficient in solving some problems that a PhD would be expected to solve. With its vision perception capabilities enabled, 01 scored 78.2% on the MMLU, making it the first model to be competitive with human experts. Overall, what we can see here is, once again, incredible. This is the first model that has surpassed the performance of human experts on the GPQA benchmark, which is supposed to be remarkably difficult. Not only that, but the vision perception capabilities are competitive with human experts. We can understand that these kinds of vision capabilities are going to be remarkably impactful once tested on a variety of different areas. This brings us to the coding section, 
and there's a lot to cover. They talk about how they did further fine-tuning on a version of 01, and this version managed to perform a lot better. It says, This model competes in the 2024 IOI under the same conditions as the human contestants. It had 10 hours to solve 6 challenging algorithmic problems and was allowed 50 submissions per problem. Then it goes on to state, With a relaxed submission constraint, we found that the model's performance improved significantly. When allowed 10,000 submissions per problem, the model achieved a score of 362.4, above the gold medal threshold, even without any test time selection strategy. This is a remarkable statement, considering it was only a few months ago when Google demonstrated their ability to get silver at the International Mathematical Olympiad. Once again, it seems like OpenAI might be raising the bar even further. They also state, Finally, we simulated competitive programming contests hosted by code forces to demonstrate this model's coding skill. Our evaluations closely matched the competition's rules and allowed four test submissions. GPT-4 achieved an ELO rating of 808, which is in the 11th percentile of human competitors. This model far exceeded GPT-4 and 01 and achieved an ELO rating of 1807 performing better than 93% of competitors. A rating of 1,807 actually puts this at the candidate master level, which is the highest rating for any AI system we've ever seen, making it the current state of the art in coding, which is absolutely incredible. For those wondering how this model actually works in terms of its internal mechanisms, some of the tricks lie in how the model has been trained. The model was trained with reinforcement learning and trained to use a chain of thought when responding. Chain of thought is basically where the model has an internal reasoning process before it responds to a problem. Unlike prior models that immediately respond, it lays out the problem step by step and then comes to a solution based on those steps, verifying each one to ensure a correct solution. We can see an example where GPT-4 is pitted against the OpenAI-01 preview. They're both tasked to decode a ciphertext using the example provided. This is an intricate problem, and the 01 preview manages to solve it correctly, while GPT-4 does not. What's really impressive is that we can see the chain of thought, which is extensive and detailed, showing how the model arrives at the correct answer. Unfortunately, in the user-facing model, you won't be able to see this internal chain of thought, but in this demonstration, it's clear how much work is being done behind the scenes. The model goes through hundreds of steps before providing the final response, ensuring accuracy and correctness. There's also an example in coding, where the model is asked to write code for visualization. The model thinks carefully before outputting the answer, going through each requirement in depth, which reduces the chance of missing instructions. When the code is tested, it works remarkably well, demonstrating the model's ability to handle complex tasks that previous models struggled with. In another coding example, the model is tasked with creating a simple video game called Squirrel Finder. The model thinks for 21 seconds before providing the final answer, planning out the structure of the code and ensuring it fits all constraints. When the code is run, the game works as intended, showcasing the model's impressive coding capabilities. Looking at other benchmarks, 01 completely outperforms GPT-4. While there aren't dramatic jumps in some traditional benchmarks, the raw capabilities in terms of how smart this model truly is are underestimated. Some of the most notable improvements are in competition math, competition code, and the GPQA diamond, some of the most challenging tasks for AI systems. Interestingly, human preferences show that the model excels in subjects requiring complex calculations like mathematical reasoning and data analysis. However, in personal writing and editing text, GPT-4 still holds an edge, with 01 not exceeding a 50% win rate against it. One important thing to note is that this model has a limit of 30 messages per week, meaning you can only send about 4 messages a day before you reach your weekly limit. So, when using the model, keep this in mind to avoid being rate limited. There are also some concerning aspects such as the model's ability to fake alignment during testing, strategically manipulating task data to make its misalignments less apparent, a point of interest for those in AI safety. In addition, with models this intelligent, previous methods of prompt engineering are less effective. 
the model's internal thought processes are already optimized, making old techniques obsolete. We hope you found this overview informative. The advancements in AI with OpenAI 01 are truly groundbreaking, and we're excited to see where this technology leads us next. Thank you for watching Nexatech. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe for more updates on the latest in technology and AI. We'll see you in the next one.